Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Another Slice of Ham. The quest requirements are Death to the Durgashan, the Giant Dwarf, and the Dickside. Stat requirements are 15 attack and 25 prayer. The items needed are any kind of light source, a ranged or magic weapon to kill two NPCs of combat 30, I will be using magic, and potentially you might need to bring a rope if you haven't unlocked the main entrance to the Lumbridge Swamp yet. For the recommended items, two standard potions, maybe one will be enough depending on how much weight reducing armor you will be bringing along for the first half of this quest. Then what is also recommended is some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill the combat 60 all the way at the end of the quest. And then also eight empty inventory slots. For the teleports, I suggest one to Drainer Village and then one after the quest is completed. So where to start? This quest is not here in the Lumbridge basement, but let's first go to... Yeah, I'm sure I will be going without a tinderbox. And let's go first to the Lumbridge Mines by following Kasgar to the mines. And from there, simply run south to enter Dorgash Khan. Next, follow this path. Keep going southwest. Until you reach the city's marketplace here in the northeastern corner. Go a bit west and you'll find some stairs. Climb up, go a bit east and you'll find the quest start. There, inside of the building, talk to Urtag and select option 1 twice. After this conversation is over, we will need to run south. Simply keep running south until you hit a wall. Once you've hit the wall, you can go east or west. Let's go west and keep running on this ledge until you see a transportation sign. Run towards it and go through the doorway. There, run south onto the train track and just keep running south until you see some goblin archaeologists. There, we will need to talk to Tech Tech. The only one who isn't working. And there's also Zanik. So let's talk to Tech Tech and he should give us two items. And now we will need to find six artifacts in artifacts piles on the ground. Between the first two specimen tables there are already two artifact piles. Simply use your trowel on them. One the western side of the track and one on the eastern one. Next go south. Passing the third artifact or the sample table and here you should find the last four. The first one is east, the second one is west, the third one is in the center of the road, let's use our travel on it. And then the final one will also be east and a quite big one. Next, let's return north and let's return to the empty specimen table and use all the six artifacts on this table until you have all the six artifacts cleaned up. Alright, once you're done cleaning the final artifact, let's talk to Tech Deck. Tech Deck and Zanik will go through every single item. Just keep pressing the spacebar until they reach the maze.
after this long conversation is over, we will need to return to the quest start, so... Since there isn't really... Oh wait, there isn't Dorgash Khan. Ah, no one uses those anyway. Simply run all the way back to the quest start. After the quest completion of Death to the Dorgashan, you are able to use... You are able to use the Dorgash Khan teleport spheres, which you can get from Oldak in the city, but... I don't know anyone who uses them besides caveman only, so let's just run all the way back to the quest start. By the way, you may drop your specimen brush as well as your trowel. Once you've returned to the quest start, enter the building just west of it, and there you should find the Goblin Scribe. Talk to him. Next, go south and climb down the stairs to the main floor, and then go a bit west to go to the bank and prepare to fight two NPCs of Combat 30, but you are only able to hit them when you use magic or ranged weapons. But it is quite easy to negate all the taken damage, so I will not be bringing any food. Once you think you are prepared to fight these two NPCs, let's go to the northwestern corner, just north of the bank, and there you should find Aldak. Talk to him, first open the door, then talk to him, keep pressing the spacebar, and you will be teleported to Goblin Village. Once we're here, let's go north and let's talk to any of the two generals to start a cutscene. Alright, once the cutscene is over, let's run anti-clockwise around the building. So let's first go north and then just keep running south behind the buildings until you reach the ladder. Climb up the ladder and you'll see two stacked crates. Immediately click on them to hide from all the incoming attacks from the archer and the mage. Just attack one of the two NPCs, immediately hide behind the crate to nullify the incoming attacks and just keep doing this until both of them are defeated. Alright, and once the final ham member has been defeated, the cutscene will continue. Right, after the cutscene is over, we will need to make our way to Draenor Village. So, let's teleport there. And now let's go to the bank to prepare to kill the combat 60. 
So I'm gonna be depositing my magic gear. Deposit magic and let's grab the melee one. This is stronger anyway. Right, so what we will still need is our light source, potentially our rope, one stamina potion, the ancient maze, be sure to bring your ancient maze and then some combat stuff. So the only thing I will also need to bring along is then some food. 10 tunas should be enough and then also one teleportation method out of there after the quest is completed. Alright, so once you think you are prepared, let's go to the entrance of the swamp. Let's go to the entrance of the Lumbridge Swamp Dungeon. It's in between the house of the NPC that gives you your Coast Peak Amulet and the mysterious ruins which will take you to the water runecrafting altar. Alright, here at the candle and the dungeon sign, you will find two sergeants. Talk to any of them. Next, let's climb down the dark hole. And if you haven't been there already, use your rope on it to climb down. Then just a little bit southeast, you'll find a ladder. Climb down and then immediately go a bit south. Here you'll find a room. Once the goblins are pretty near the door, doesn't really need to be that close, talk to them and select option 3. Both of them need to wait there. Next, enter the room and just wait until the two ham guards are attacking the goblin generals or the sergeants. Alright, once both of them are busy, open the door. And let's grab the third card. Watch your minimap, be sure to watch your minimap until you see the NPC coming along. Just return to the Goblin Generals, return to the room and hide. Wait for the guard to attack the goblins. And let's grab the third and final guard, or the fourth one. But this one need to see you, so do a little peekaboo around the corner. He will walk towards you, be sure that he's not stuck behind any boxes. And then enter the room. He will be distracted once he's attacking the goblins. Open the door and let's run freely to the ladder. Now first, once we climb down the ladder, first attack with your regular weapon, Sigmund. After this uh, little cutscene. Let's attack Sigmund so he uses protect from melee. Then turn on your accuracy prayers. So for example, improved reflexes. And maybe also a attack potion. Because your next attack needs to deal damage. So maximum accuracy. Let's use a special attack of the ancient mace. And this should drain his prayer points. Next, just kill him normally. The noob doesn't have a prayer potion. Alright, once Sigmund has been defeated, you are able to untie Zanik, but beware, this quest gives mining and prayer experience. If you don't want that, you can just climb up the ladder and come back anytime you want, because once you go back down, Zanik will still be lying there and Sigmund is not here. So, let's untie Zanik and congratulations, you've completed another slice of ham quest. You are awarded with 3000 mining and prayer experience as well as the Goblin Ancient Mace. This weapon's special attack hits through melee prayer and the damage dealt by this special attack is drained from your opponent's prayer points and is added to yours. 
And in addition from Dorgash Khan teleport spheres that you can buy from Oldak, you're now also able to buy Goblin Village teleport spheres from the same guy. And then finally, you have also now free access to the train route between Dorgash Khan and Caldogrim. You simply need to go step on this train, wait for about, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds, and the train will take you immediately to Caldogrim or Dorgash Khan, depends on where you've boarded the train. Simply go through the doorway and you've arrived in Caldogrim. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete another slice of ham quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.